three. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I almost, almost fell there. But anyways, hello there. My, um, my name is Derek. And as you all know, I'm pretty much known as the cool one. You know, because I have the, the cool voice with the cool jacket. Yeah. <laughs> I am known as the cool one. And because of that, a lot of people ask me for advice. And of course, as the good person I am, I, I usually give it to them. Just like in this clip. I know life might be difficult for you right now, but just remember, if life gives you lemons, you just, you just throw them back. Wait, what? Yeah, I literally had no idea who, who that guy was. Yeah, you could basically call me a saint, giving advice to poor and souls that don't know how to live their lives to the fullest, so I would tell them little, little phrases like, If you can dream it, you can do it. <laughs> if you, if you want to do it, then do it. Yeah, no, what, what's another thing? Ooh, ooh, my signature phrase. <laughs> Live your life. Yeah, those, those, those little words usually help everyone I, I talk to, and including my friends, so, like, like in this part. Hey, Puppet, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine, really? Because it seems like your life kind of sucks. What? Well, I mean, is it seems like your life's not going the way you want it, and you could use some life advice, and lucky for you, I'm the guy giving the advice. So, what do you say? Would you like some advice from your old pal, Derek? Yeah, that's a no. What the, the, the no? Don't you want my wisdom? Wisdom? Oh yeah, right? Like I'm gonna get some sort of wisdom from some guy that dreams about anime titties every single night. <laughs> yeah, and that's gonna be a hard no for me. Okay, okay, maybe, maybe that was a bad example, but sometimes I, it, it can be pretty stubborn. Puppet, come back! Don't you want my blessing? What, what your blessing? Well, what are you, a priest or something? What? No, 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 I don't want any of your advice. I, I just want you to leave me alone. Now, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I love Derek. He's my best friend, but uh, lately he's been acting um a bit, as you say, c crazy. He's been going around trying to give people advice when they clearly don't want any, and, uh, then he, um, he acts a bit aggressive. Oh, come on, man! This is my advice we're talking about! It will change your life! No, it won't! Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's kind of scaring me. Hey, Farkle, 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 can, can I ask you a question? Sure, Derek, what is it? Well, it's just, um, how does it feel to be a freak? What? I'm not a freak! <laughs> yes, you are. It is a weird that you're the only freak here, but I'm not a freak, Farkle. Stop denying it. And plus, don't you wish you had some advice about how not to be a freak? Well, I mean, if I was a freak, I would like some advice, but again, I am not a freak, Farkle. You realize the first step of not becoming a freak is accepting the fact that you're weird. Oh, dear God. <laughs> and lucky for you, I'm here to give advice about how not to be a freak, Derek. You sound crazy right now. Crazy, Farkle? What are you talking about? I'm just here to help your problem. Problem? I don't have a problem. Well, of course you do. All all you little weirdos have problems, and that is why I'm here to give you advice about your sad and pathetic life. Uh-huh, yeah, I think we're done here. Now, I wouldn't really say me and Derek have the best relationship, but I mean, over time, he's been warming back up to me, but after today, I, uh... No, Fargo, please wait, you, you, you need my advice! I, I honestly don't even know, and honestly, I, I, I feel like the guy needs some help. Oracle, you, you need my advice? I do not need your advice, Scott. Just, just leave me alone. No, no, Farkle. I, I'm trying to help you. Hey, hey, will you, will you let go of me? You're, you're too close. Listen, Farkle, I'm, not, I, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you not be a freak. I am not a freak. Yes, you are. You're, you're a little freaky, freaky, freak. And my words are the cure. Hey, hey, let go of me. Hey, what are, what are you doing? Hey, no, don't, don't, don't touch me there. Yeah, um, um he, he kind of touched me. Yeah, you can't. You can't really forget things like that. All right, well, which one should I wear today? Oh, I feel like you should wear this one. Ah, uh, well, well, what are you doing in here? Oh, I want to give you some advice on what to wear. No, no, get, get out of here. But I want to help. No, I don't need your help, you pervert. Get out of here. Stop, stop looking at me. All right, fine. <laughs> oh, no. He saw me naked. <laughs> this, is, this is horrible. Now, 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 Papa will never marry me. <laughs> Oh, no. I don't think I ever felt so violated before in my life. I mean, we're friends, but come on. That's crossing the line. I, I can't let you see me naked. This body's only for puppet. Okay? It was so terrible. Only he to see me naked. Oh, God. What does this world come to? Uh, Ma'am, ma could you please put some clothes on? Huh? Oh, all right, I, I, I have this on, but, uh, you know, I, I got a question. What do you think about this body? Yeah, I think you should put some clothes on. 
Ugh, well, you know, fun. You know, after he harassed Muriel trying to give her advice, um, I know, see, he kind of started getting worse. Advice! Advice! And everyone needs to hear my advice! <coughs> you! You, little monkey! You need my advice as well, don't you? Eat? Yeah, I definitely think there's something wrong with him. Yeah, this is definitely getting out of hand. Yeah, I think it's about time we did something about him. Um, Muriel, where are your clothes? You know, once we got to a certain point, you know, we, we told ourselves enough's enough of this Derek's advice shit, so we did the right thing and c called the doctor. Alright, so where's the patient? Oh, he's over there talking to the monkey. Also, Mr. Monkey, remember, next time, be careful when you eat bananas, because when you put those things in your mouth, it, it looks like you're sucking on a dick. Wait a minute, you have a pet monkey? Ah, what the fuck. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and check him out. Oh, Mr. Monkey, I love you. You're the only one that's listening to me, even though you look like you're dead. But, but I, I, I love the fact that you're paying attention. Hello there, mister. Oh, uh, who are you? Oh, no one special, sir. Just a generic doctor puppet. Oh, okay, so have you come for my advice? Because if you didn't hear, um, I'm pretty good at giving advice. Oh, yes, I, I have heard about that, sir. But that is not the reason I'm here. I'm actually here to help you. Help me? <laughs> help me, he says. <laughs> I don't need help. I'm the one giving help. Oh, yes, I have heard. And I've also heard that you've been giving your friends advice lately. Oh, yes, good advice. Well, I wouldn't say it's good because the way you've been giving advice might be a bit, uh, forceful. Forceful? What? Uh, no, 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 that, no, that's not how it went. I mean, sure, I might have been a, a, a bit aggressive, but it was for their own good, you know, this advice was going to change their lives. I, I mean, I, I, I'm not trying to brag or something, but I'm kind of like a saint, so, so my word is pretty holy. Oh, dear. See, see, I, I told you he was crazy. Yes, yes, I can, I can definitely see that. Sir, for my observations, it seems like you're suffering from something called advice-itis. <laughs> advice-itis? <laughs> what in the world is that? Well, basically, it's a condition where someone keeps constantly giving people advice. It's basically a result when someone feels like they're not wanted anymore, or feel like they're being overshadowed by someone else. What? <laughs> what are you even talking about, Doc? I feel completely fine, okay? I don't have this uh, advice-itis that you're talking about. <laughs> I feel fine. I feel completely sane, okay? I don't feel like I'm not needed anymore, or feel like I'm being overshadowed or, or no one really, really needs me anymore. I feel fine. I feel really, really, really fine, Doc, okay? Aha, uh -huh, yeah. That little freak out of yours tells me otherwise, so you're gonna have to come with me. Yeah, Derek wasn't really happy about the doctor thing, well, but I feel like it was probably the best thing for him. What did it go with you? Well, well, I'm fine, sir. You are very sick. Come with me. No, no, just stay back from me, Doc. I am very much sane, okay? Uh, I'm normal, okay? I, I don't need to go to a hospital or anything. You let my friends believe me, <laughs> right? Take him away. Yeah, he's crazy. But guys, come here. I'm not a sick thesis. Stop resisting so we can make things easier on you. No, I will not go in. Oh, I still have to get a remote. Oh, no, that's it. Wait, wait, is that a needle? No, 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 don't put that in me, Doc. Oh, God. Oh, oh that hurts. And oh, I, I, uh, I, I, I feel, I, I feel so sleep, so sleep, sleep, sleepy. Oh. Oh, thank God that's over. So, Doc, is he gonna be okay? Oh, don't worry. Your friend will be fine within a week, so just give him some time and rest. Ah, oh, okay. Do do your best, Doc. Yeah, it's gonna be lonely without him. Right. Well, we're off. You know, I didn't really want to see Derek go away. I mean, he was my best friend, but, you know, Derek was, um, he was kind of a bit, um, yeah, as you say, unstable. You know, as Derek was being taken away, I was honestly really sad, because, you know, he's my best friend, and we spend every single day together. Well, well, not romantically. Don't, I don't get that confused. Mom, my heart still belongs to the puppet, but, you know, we spend every single day together, so it's going to be weird not seeing him anymore, but... You know, it is what it is. You know, but Derek needs help, and this is probably the only way he's gonna be get it. So I, I, I can accept it, ma'am. Can you please put some clothes on? Why? What's wrong? What are you jealous of this body? Yeah, I don't think anyone's jealous of that body. Ugh. What do you know? Plus, isn't the interviewer not supposed to talk? You know, it's gonna be really lonely without Derek being around here. But you know, all I really kept telling myself is that it was the only way to end the video. It, it was the only way.